Okay, we're live from the funny farm. My name is Tom Erik Stöver. And I'm Kim Bredsen. Where to begin? Uh, you usually do the story. Okay, okay, yeah. I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Tom Erik, we've known each other since uh, high school. And we both have uh, the same kind of interest in IT. So we worked in IT together for a long time. Kim told me at some point he wanted to go to this uh, evening school for agriculture. And I said, uh, well, I, I want to go too. That led up to our starting to work together on the bees and the IoT. And now we're basically working after hours uh, with the BIoT solution. We do a lot of stuff together. Yeah, we do. <laughs> As a society, we've moved so far apart, especially kind of bridging the gap between where the food is produced and the person is actually eating the food. Honeybees pollinate around a quarter of all agricultural crop. With BIOT, I think we can make that connection again. Welcome to my farm. It's a Norwegian farm. We're located about 45 minutes from Oslo. What, what are you yeah. growing over there? Oats. Oats, yes. Can we have some sheep and pigs? And here are some of the beehives. In Norway, at least, if you're a beekeeper full time, you have 250 beehives. If you're going to do the job properly, we're going to inspect everyone once a week during the high season. And we have to open each hive, and it really disturbs the bees. We wanted to do it a better way. We started uh, looking into uh, how can we do that checking in with the bees without actually opening up the beehive, meaning putting sensors inside, camera, microphone. We measure the weight of the whole hive, temperature, relative humidity, CO2, infrared spectrum, and volatile organic compounds. We use all the data that we collect to have the beehive tell us when it needs something to be done with it. The natural next step for us was if the beehive can tell us when something needs to be done, can we also make the beehive do that thing itself? During the winter, the bee colony gets kind of small. And then as the spring and summer comes, it gets bigger and bigger. So it needs more space. So in traditional beekeeping, you would have to add space incrementally throughout the season. In our vision, we would have like, all the boxes there but we would have mechanisms to make that space available to the bees. We have these small inexpensive computers called Raspberry Pi installed in each hive. They receive data from all of the different sensors in the hive. Then we use AWS Greengrass to make all these pieces work together and connect to the cloud in an efficient way. Greengrass also allows us to process the data and use machine learning locally in each hive. When the beehive can do the operations itself with the cloud at the edge, we don't need to transfer as much data and we can just make the beehive very smart and it's cool. I think BIoT is about connecting the people to the beehive. Machine learning, it's, it's the reason why we can do this. You can experience bees while in the city, basically. You can own a beehive and the beehive can be out in the countryside. The disconnect in something so essential to life is, uh, I mean, it's a worry that's been growing in me for many years. With the BIOT solutions, you, if you have some space, you can have a beehive, and the beehive can take care of itself. That potential in technology is really exciting. 